Okay, so uh, welcome everybody and uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk a bit about our activities in the Google Summer of Code this year. So just uh, a quick background for all the people who have never heard of Google Summer of Code before or just vaguely remember what it was all about. Um, basically, Google Summer of Code is a grant program that Google started back in 2005 and sort of their internal tagline, uh, even though I think they never officially stated it, was get students to flip bits, not burgers. So basically giving students an opportunity to work on open source projects over the summer and earn some money over the summer doing open source development instead of having to go for some other summer job to fund their studies. Over the uh, past 12 years now, about uh, 13,000 students have participated in the program. Um, I guess there's a bunch of people here in the room who have been former some of code students as well, so I'm among those. And uh, it's a pretty nice program. It uh, gives out roughly $5,000 for three months of uh, doing open source work. Um, I, mean, I say roughly because this year they changed the way they, they do the uh, reimbursements for that uh, to sort of adjust for how wealthy or how, what the pay rates are in the uh, country you're living in. So I'm not sure how that works out uh, this year though. Um, as you can see on this uh, very um, accurate and very scientific graph on the side, um, the number of uh, students in the program has steadily risen um, over the last couple of years. So they started out with only 400 students in the first year and sort of pushed the number up to roughly 1,000 students. And uh, well, the, the noise you see around this value is basically just Google trying to fine tune how well they can manage handing out all the funding because they run the program with, with a very small team of people and sort of figuring out how to pay like 1,000 people all across the world in a way that's least amount of fuss seems to be really tricky. They are changing how they pay every year. So it's very fun to participate as an organization because you need to figure out how to get like stuff done with Summer of Code all the time. Bit more about the history from the Open Source Bioinformatics uh, Foundation uh, in the Google Summer of Code. We participated as the OBF for six times now. Um, previously, we had a couple of our projects uh, under the Nescent umbrella, um, starting back from 2007, I think. But sort of from uh, under the, the OBF uh, flag, we participated uh, since 2010. In 2013 and 2015, we didn't manage to get accepted into the program. You need to apply as a mentor organization. And the bioinformatics field is pretty competitive. There's lots of projects applying. So uh, Google tries to sort of spread around a bit um, which uh, of the projects they fund. We usually had around like five to six students overall. And the last two years, we managed to get a bit more people. I will talk about why that is. Uh, in a bit. Just as a quick wrap up um, for our uh, 2016 projects. So we had uh, seven successful students uh, that completed the uh, program. And I've just quickly listed um, the projects that I've been working on. And you might notice if you look at this that uh, while well, people were working on the common workflow language, on Bionode, on GNetwork, on AntiSmash, on OpenSNP, None of these are core OBF projects here. And this was sort of a decision that um, I made with uh, sort of the agreement of the board back in uh, 2016 when I uh, volunteered to run uh, the program here is to open up the application and sort of the open bioinformatics foundation umbrella to more projects than just the core uh, OBF projects here just to get a bit more diversity for the students. Um, so more choices of things they could work on. And apparently that has been taken up pretty well. So um, looking at last year, we got lots of uh, different proposals and you could see that some, some projects did got most of the proposals and some of the projects didn't seem to be that popular, but it still gave like as an overall uh, OBF participation in the Summer of Code, gave a lot of students the opportunity to pick whatever they wanted to work on. And I think that was a very, very nice uh, thing for our students. And you can see that this worked out okay because if we look at the active projects that are currently going on this year, so we have eight students who are currently in the program. 
Uh, and you can see, again, we have a very diverse set of projects that are, are being worked on. So again, it's common workflow language, anti-smash, Bionode, uh, ETE, G Network, OpenMS. So again, not a lot of core projects, but a lot of uh, different uh, projects going on, and a lot of exciting things happening here. Um, and you can see that some students have come back uh, to work on Summer of Code again. This is perfectly fine from the perspective of Google. You're allowed to participate two times before they say, well, you've done this enough now, maybe you want to like figure out something else. But it gives the opportunity for students who've like gotten into a project on the year before to sort of get back and get some more stuff done. Again, um, we currently don't have a shared blog post on the OBF uh, blog that lists all these projects, and this is something that uh, I've been pointed at yesterday evening, and that we'll be trying to fix. So it's going to get easier to find what uh, the projects are currently doing. All of the students are writing blogs on their progress, so we just need to go and collect this. So hopefully, by the time you get back from the conference, I've got a start of like links out to all the projects. So if you're more interested in the individual projects that I don't really have a lot of time to talk about uh, here in, in this area, uh, you can go and see what's going on in these uh, projects here. The main thing I want to get at, even though it's a very short slide, is we're currently running Summer of Code 2017. That means we should get started getting some ideas of what we want to be doing next year. So of course, I can't guarantee that Google is running the program again because they never pre-announce things, but they've been running it since 2005. I don't think they're going to stop now. I think it's a very successful recruiting tool for Google, so I think Google keeps pouring money into that. Um, so again, as Hilma mentioned, we're running all of our stuff or a lot of our uh, infrastructure on GitHub and in GitHub repositories. So if you go to uh, OBF GSOC, you actually will see that this is the, the repository that we use for running our um, Summer of Code participation. So this is where our ideas list uh, can be found. And if you have any good project ideas that a student can work on over the period of three months next summer, feel free to suggest it, send a pull request. I'm always happy to look at these. And also, I guess I would like to use the opportunity to have a bunch of the core uh, OBF project folks here. Last year, we didn't see a lot of proposals coming from the core projects. So maybe if you want to get some new people uh, to work on your projects, just step up and put up a couple of proposals. I can't guarantee that anybody will apply for these, but if you don't put any proposals up, you certainly won't get anybody. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, start thinking about it. Usually, so for me, it's like a project I think I can work on in a month is a pretty good three month project for a student who has no idea about the, the project and where to go. So just as a scoping, you can also look so from uh, this page, there's links to our previous project idea pages. You can have a look at those and see what those projects look like to get an idea what things should look, about, uh, look like. And I'd like to finish up. I'd like to finish up with uh, big thanks to all of our mentors this year. So uh, as you can see, we have uh, quite a number of mentors and I think that's really, really nice in OBF that we have a very good uh, mentor to student uh, ratio here. Um, I'd like to point out a couple of people in particular. So um, both uh, Anton and Julian, um, who've, who I've highlighted in italics here, are students from last year who came back this year, not as students, but actually as mentors, which is sort of the ideal uh, direction of evolution that we want to go to, uh, through with the uh, Summer of Code project. So uh, I know uh, that's exactly where we want to be. And of course, a uh, big thanks to both Michael and, and Roman uh, for like being co-admins in Crime here for running the whole show. And uh, we're always there to sort of back up if real life happens to me and I'm not able to respond to emails as quickly as I should. So yeah, big thanks to that. And I guess I also need to quickly thank Google for running the program in, in the whole end and for the Novo Nordisk Foundation who's paying for my trip here to allow me to give this talk. So thanks a lot. Thank you.